Hi, in this video we want to create a cover for a book. Uh, I'm not a designer, so I will try my best to create something. So first let's open a shape. Let's create a shape. Aria. And let's bring here an image. So let's import an image. Uh, after that we have this image, in my case I already have it, so let's increase until it's ok, you can see it's repeating. So now let's move the image here and now let's play with some settings, I don't want any line. Now let's play with some rectangles, so let's create something coming from here with no line and let's use orange with transparency and let's bring some here, let's copy paste another one here, maybe longer. Now let's copy again, let's rotate. Let's use one here to cover the text and no transparency. Uh, now another one paste and let's rotate and let's change a color, let's choose green. Uh, here, let's copy again. Here and let's create another one but bigger because I want here a text. Now let's write a text, a new perspective. Oh, it's rotated. So let's create a new rectangle. Let's copy the format from here. And now let's add the text a new perspective. Let's uh, in select the text, increase the font, let's bold, let's choose a color, let's see with orange, no, white, it's good. Let's move a little bit, okay. Now let's create some shapes here. Um, let's copy from this one, the format, but I don't want transparency. Um, let's cover this here Wait. Let's copy from here the format but no transparency. It's okay. Now let's see, let's add some shapes. We are talking about perspective. So here we can add the ear. But let, uh, let me do something else. So let's create a new shape and I want this format to move here. So now let's add the year 2024. Let's increase. And we can add here some text. Uh, for example, 
your textbooks box. Uh, let's copy some text. Maybe about the book. Let's add again. Let's decrease more. Uh, let's center italic and let's move a little bit. So here are some words about this book, maybe. Let's change the text color. Let's see with orange. Maybe it's good. Now here we can add some shapes. Um, talking about perspective. Let's uh, copy from here the format. But I want transparency and more transparency. Let's input 95, 90. Let's add more shapes. Let's do the same, but let's change the color. I want green. Let's add, uh, I don't know, this one. Press shift. Let's format. Let's choose another color here. I don't know, maybe a red. And after all that, we can write here um, maybe another text in another format. Uh, let's go over here. Maybe it's a quote or I don't know, something special. Let's choose now the green. And let's decrease. Uh, let's suppose I have less text. And let's improve it. So let's bold a little bit of spacing. And let's center it into this area. So centered and also like that. Okay, like, like a quote something. So let's see how it's seeing when exporting. So let's export as PDF. You can see this could be your cover. Uh, I don't have a design view. I, am, I don't know if these colors fit here. Uh, maybe this could be move or change the transparency and so on. But this is how you can work with images and shapes and text and move it in your uh, project so you can create a cover for your book. After that, you can export it and use it where you need it. Okay, so thanks for watching and please subscribe for more video. Thank you.